Meanwhile, Camp Sussex sources have struck back from Montecito, arguing Harry and Meghan are merely using their own family name and official titles. Comes as Harry's set to announce how special Canada is to him and Meghan as he gets set to launch the Invictus Games in Vancouver tomorrow. It's interesting how much of a hoo-ha there's been about uh, these websites. I can see uh, the sense of what they were doing because they used to have the Archwell website and into that went pretty much everything. So their personal posts, their professional posts, as in what they were doing to make money, uh, and their charity posts. And that gets a little bit tricky because if that's meant to be a philanthropic, you know, charitable website and, and uh, foundation, and you're talking about the grubby end of making money, uh, you know, th th then it gets a bit awkward. I think there's been a bit of a hoo-ha about, we just saw there the website, there's the coat of arms. Mm. Um, and that actually is Meghan's coat of arms that she was given when they were married. People saying that that's you know, a royal coat of arms and because they're not working royals anymore, they shouldn't be cashing in on the royal um, side of things. The other thing is this new website, Sussex.com, it used to be called, uh, their own personal one used to be called Sussex Royal. So they've taken the word royal out, which is actually what they were always told to do. They were yeah. told not to use the word royal. So I think some of the criticism uh, is a bit unfair, but it's very interesting. They see the cogs are wearing, they're up to something, they're about to flog out something, and you know, I think it's all eyes on Harry and Meghan. But if you look at that, you're right, it's an umbrella website, isn't it? So they've got Archetypes Foundation, they've then got the production company, and then you click through, which I did earlier, you click through to that website. Sussex Royal is still there, by the way. But if it gets click, redirected. It does get redirected, but they've still got that URL. Now, I thought they were told not to use that URL, or certainly not to major on being royal. And also, come on, that coat of arms, yes, it may well be hers, but we know what they're doing they're playing on the Royal Connections, which they were expressly told not to do by the if, late Queen. If they were on there selling mugs and T-shirts... Sorry, can we just say, it. odd defence coming from... <laughs> 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 yes. Go, JJ. Yeah. If they were... HRH, yeah. JJ if and they baby. were flogging their wares on there, I'd understand the, the out, outcry. But literally, I've been to the website too, and yeah, I click on Archer, I'll take you to another website, click on the foundation, take you to another website. And I was going through, trying to click everything to see, well, what is it they're selling? What, they're not selling anything. No. Technically, they're selling themselves. But they do need to have a website. They're, they're not just a world couple, they are celebrities. They, it's not out of the realms of possibility they would have websites for people to, but, to, to, to go, go and visit. What's the problem with that? JJ, I think that they will be flogging stuff on this Sussex.com mm. website because, you know, we've been saying for ages that Megan um, has put into the deep freeze her TIG uh, website that, that she had in which she, you know, sort of Megan the influencer and obviously she was told that that was a bit unseemly for a royal to do. Mm -hmm. I think that this Sussex.com is going to be the new TIG that we've been told for ages was coming. And I think we could say, we could see, you know, Megan lighting a candle. You can get it, follow this link and you can buy it. I yeah. do think we'll see it. I think the timing is interesting given, you know, given the royal, the big royal news that's, that's come Agreed. out in the last few days. I, I, I find it odd that they haven't clarified, that the palace and the Sussexes haven't clarified what they can and can't use, whether the coat of arms can still be used. I mean, it, this is not clear, is it? I think it is clear. It isn't clear. I think it's clear they can't use the word royal, mm. but but um, yeah, and they. But if she's okay, but, but, but if she's been cleared, I don't think was ever, was ever part of it. I think it was the word. Well, royal. if she was given that, and if she is cleared to use that, then they can use it. But there is no doubt. I, I, there? I'd be very surprised though if the palace. I mean, there's suggestions the palace are going to sort of take action doubt, and yeah. say they can't. I don't think they no. will. They're, but, they're no, they going wouldn't. to be focused right because now on will... the king, yeah. his cancer treatment. Kate's recovery, yeah. the important thing. Uh, I absolutely. don't yeah, think, I think I, it will, let it will cause them a problem if they did. But there's no way around it. I mean, you, whatever way you slice it, even JJ could see. You know, <laughs> this is a couple mm. who are making it look like they're they still are. very much of a royal. But that's what I was going to say. It's and a bit like Harrods it, it's written there, losing its royal warren and still, still having, using a royal warren. Still using, a, isn't it? A royal, well, yes and no. Yes. They haven't lost. They they haven't lost the coat of arms because it's their, it's, her, it's actually her coat mm, of arms mm. and they haven't lost it. But you're, we're all right that they're on manoeuvres mm. because breaking news that Meghan Markle is back in the podcast game. You know, she had her podcast archetypes um, and then... <laughs> Which was it, so bad. It, <laughs> it, it was some of them were It was okay, painful some, to some listen to. It was record breaking. Say what you want about it. It was record yeah. breaking. So she's got a new... It can still be painful to listen <laughs> to. She's got a new podcast and a new partnership and it's with a network called Lemonada Media. 
Um, and so, and Lemonada Media are not only going to, they're going to make new podcasts, but they've also, I think, got the rights to the old series of podcasts. So Good. that's interesting uh, for them. And they are going to develop a new, <laughs> as yet untitled, original podcast hosted by Guess Who? Megan. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'm so, quite impressed, by the way, that they got Sussex.com. As oh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good quite, point. Yeah. Now, I reckon there's an IT fella on Brighton Council. He's, <laughs> now, <laughs> he's, now, he's now on a hammock in Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick deal I did with a couple yeah. in California. <laughs> um, although Rupert Bell told us earlier he thinks that, that that domain name was owned maybe 30, 40 years ago. Oh. In royal circles. Oh, really? He didn't have any evidence, but he was... Interesting. ..theorising.